Hello, my name is Patrick Neal and welcome to this Batchline training video. I'm going to show you the Open Bravo till today and I'm going to talk you through uh, selling books. So we're going to load the Open Bravo um, software and um, we're going to use administrator. You can um, set different security levels for different um, members of staff, but most people just use administrator for everybody. So this is your Open Bravo till and you're ready to sell anything you've got in your shop available. And it's really important that you feel comfy with this system and that way you can give the best possible customer service. So the most common way you're going to sell something is by scanning it. So you can scan some books. There you go. That's two books there already. And then we have the, the buttons as well. So um, for things that you're going to keep less uh, control of in the, in the batch line system, you can have buttons and that, that's like greeting cards or ice cream. Um, and those, those, those uh, you can set up as many buttons as you like uh, uh, for, for whatever, whether items you, you, you want to sell. Now we've got four items on sale there and um now now we can we can do do some more sophisticated things so firstly let's say the customer just wanders off and wants to browse some more um, which obviously you want to encourage but also you want to sell uh, carry on being able to sell so you click on the gold star there and that clears that traction well it doesn't clear it it saves that transaction and um, you are able to sell sell something else so we can actually um, scan another book and um, you've actually now got two transactions on the go. So if you click on this list here, you, you can either return to the previous transaction or stay on the one you've got. We'll, we'll return to the previous transaction. And now let's say the customer spots a, a, a damage on the, um, the, the stolen coast and you, you want to sell that book, so you offer them a 15% discount on that book so that you can get it get it out of the shop and and the customer leaves with what they want so you just highlight that line type in 15 and then you click on percent offline so that will just do a, a discount on that specific book if you were being very generous to a customer and you wanted to give discount for everything on the in the list you would do the same but you would click on percent off all so you're able to give discount and you're also able to amend prices. So if, um, if, you, if you wanted to suddenly, you, and well, you, you could actually change the price of ice cream at this last minute, um, you could actually go in and edit the, the, the price here um, and, and change it to six pounds, although that probably wouldn't be a very good idea. Uh, you, might, you might annoy the customer, but you, you're able to edit at that moment. Um, so yeah, you finished all your editing and discounting. And so now you hit the subtotal button and now you are at the payment side of the transaction and you've got to choose the tender type and there's cash check voucher could well be your own vouchers or world book day vouchers. It's defaulted to credit card and, um, we, we will do a different video to show you, talk you through the dojo. Um, card machines which are actually linked to the to the open Bravo set software there's also national book national book tokens um, and there will be a separate video on that on how to how to process nat national book tokens but we'll take cash for this and um, we'll take we'll, we'll we, we click on the cash button and then we choose the, the 20 pound note and then two 10 pound notes and there you go that that very helpfully shows us how much change there is to be given and you click on OK and the till drawer will open. That leaves you with the other transaction sitting on the till, which is absolutely fine uh, for that customer. But also if you then are worried that something was wrong with that transaction at a later date, you can go into edit sales and you're able to view that transaction and you can you can check and you're able to scroll through the days till till um, till receipts, which can be useful to check that everything balances. 
So you go back to sales and then finish off this transaction. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that as a voucher. And the customer has got a 25 pound book voucher. So you, you key that in and um, you you see the printer icon there. You can set up your till to default to print no receipts or to print receipts and that that's your choice but then if you if, if you're defaulted to no receipts you just click on the icon and that will do the opposite of whatever your your system is defaulted to and this actually then says gives you the opportunity to email the customer if you want so you could even email the receipt um, and that that's becoming an increasingly useful thing to do and um, there you go, that finishes that transaction. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. Do go to the Batchline YouTube channel and register and look for more resources there. Um, thank you and see you soon.